Even the official army report of the test seemed unusually affected. Said the general writing it, no man-made phenomenon of such tremendous power had ever occurred before. The whole country was lit by a searing light with the intensity many times that of the midday sun, followed almost immediately by the strong, sustained, awesome roar which warned of doomsday. Typically and more graphically, Oppenheimer turned to his Sanskrit, to his favourite, Krishna. I am become death the shatterer of worlds. 21 days later, on August the 6th, 1945, the world was shattered when the first uranium bomb fell on Hiroshima. And the great debate began. My feelings really were aroused when um, I suddenly heard great shouting and people running through the corridors and telephones picked up to book tables to celebrate and I felt a bit sick at the thought that people celebrated the instantaneous killing of some hundred thousand or so. There was in the, at Los Alamos a great elation. Everybody was running around and dancing and singing and being very wild because they had been working on some kind of a thing and they succeeded. Here and there there was an individual would stand in a hall and look morose and say, this is a terrible thing. But we'd all forgotten it, what a terrible thing it was. And I thought he was fooling. But I realize now he was one of the few sensible people in the mad excitement. <laughs> 